It started with anger and frustration and hopelessness. It's been a long road for Umi Akoli, a journey that began over 14 years ago and one that's never ending. This is a pain I have to carry with me for the rest of my life and they can't erase that for me. The 55 year old was pulled over, handcuffed and put behind bars dozens of times ticketed for things like driving without updated license tags or expired insurance. It's a way of trying to manage life when you have two kids and make $32,000 a year and are a single parent. At one point, Acoli had warrants in 11 municipalities from Florissant to Ferguson to Normandy, sometimes sitting in jail for days. My life was being impacted greatly. My kids were missing their mother, not knowing when she was going to come home from jail. It wasn't until Acoli was introduced to Arch City Defenders that she finally realized she wasn't in this fight alone. Acoli was three of 52 debtors prison class action lawsuits the legal advocacy group filed between 2014 to 2024. The basic argument in those cases that we've made is that treating someone differently because they don't have money is a constitutional violation. Calling the abuse debtors prison. Executive Director Blake Strode claims this went on for years. Michael Brown's death bringing the situation to light. It helped a lot of people to gain a better understanding of why there was so much upset and outrage. Arch City defenders worked to change that mistreatment. A new report revealing the impact made by sweeping reforms. What we've seen are drops in municipal court revenues and tickets and warrants of not, you know, 10, 15 percent, but of 70, 80, 90 percent. The report shows from 2014 to 2023, municipal court revenue in Ferguson dropped by 95.2 percent. Tickets issued declined by 91.8 percent and warrants issued decreased by 95.3 percent. Through settlements of those cases, we've been able to collect millions of dollars. But no amount of money can bring back the time lost. I wish it was enough money so that my son doesn't have to Look back on that would hurt. I wish it was enough money to give me back my dignity. Let's make sure we have all the... While the past decade brought right. positive change, Strode believes the problem is far from over, calling for a consolidation of yeah. St. Louis's municipal courts. We haven't been bold enough as a region to adopt that kind of transformation. It's a brave move that must be done to move our region forward. I'm hopeful that people are in the fight to make change, but yet the change is so slow. Mercedes McKay, five on your side.